$64,000 in Etsy sales, 1,903 customers, and over 56,000 visits to our Etsy shop. And well, a lot of lessons learned. Here's the deal though. In the last five months, most of those sales came in. And the reason why is because, well, we learned a lot of things and we also started focusing on this Etsy shop in the last five months. So in this video, I'm going to share with you five lessons learned and also what we are going to be doing to move this business forward and hopefully double those sales. Now, before I get a whole bunch of people in the comments going like, that's great, Scott, great job. Uh, what did you guys profit on the $64,000? Well, here's the deal. On average, we are netting around 45 to 50%, and that's net profit after all ad spend and basically after all expenses. This is also a print-on-demand Etsy shop. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. So if you want to ask that question, you can in the comments, but that's the answer. Now, let me just say that when you are actually doing stuff, I know a lot of people, they like to learn stuff. I like to learn stuff but I also like to apply stuff and see what happens. Well, when you're able to apply different lessons and different strategies, you start to see what works and what doesn't work. And that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you, the things that worked and the things that we're gonna be doing more of. There's also a couple of things that I'm gonna be sharing with you. Actually, one of them I'm calling a little bonus because there's something that I didn't realize until we started doing this that is huge. It's a huge opportunity and it's something that we are really able to leverage now and we're gonna leverage it even more in 2023. And let me just say that number five, that I'm going to share with you guys, that thing, well, that really, really allowed us to start ramping up sales. To some people, they won't want to do it, but it's not that hard. It does take a little bit of time, a little bit, but the results are incredible. So that'll be number five. We'll get to that here in a minute. So with that all being said, let's dig in. Number one, the first lesson, and that is focusing on one niche is huge. It's something that we were doing already, but we really doubled down. And why is that something that's different that a lot of people aren't doing? Well, it's different because everyone out there, most people, I don't wanna say everyone, but most people are out there because they're learning this strategy is to just jump on a trend or jump on a hot product and then just launch that product as quick as possible and then find another one. It doesn't matter the niche, just keep launching hot products or trending products. That's what's being taught. We didn't do that. We're not going to do it because focusing on one niche has really allowed us to ramp up the business. It also makes things a lot easier. And here's the cool thing is when you focus on one niche, you're going to be able to dominate that niche because there's not a lot of people doing it. So now if someone comes into your shop and they're like, wow, this place is all about RVing, all about camping, all about traveling. Wow, this is a cool store. When someone comes into our shop, we want them to know that they found the shop that is dedicated to this niche. And that's exactly what we've done. And when you do this, the other thing that this allowed us to do is not get distracted with trying to find the next trend or find the next hot product. All we needed to do is put our head down and keep pumping out good designs and good products that serve that one niche. So that one lesson alone to me cuts out all the distractions and all you have to do is focus on that. So if you want to stand out with the competition out there, I would recommend going after one niche, dominating that one niche and letting people know that you are the go-to for that niche. Wow. I said niches a lot. And some of you will probably say in the comments, I'm saying it wrong. And some people will say I'm saying it right. Is it niche? Is it niche? I'm going to go with niche. So lesson number two that we learned was that when you launch a lot of products, you're going to increase traffic. And the reason why is because now, and it makes sense, we have a lot of different pieces of Etsy real estate out there. Every single listing, every single product that you publish is now its own entity. So if you have a keyword in there that would attract the right person, you have another place for someone to be able to find you. So you're getting more traffic. We actually tested this where we launched 30 products in 30 days. We called it a 30 day product blitz. I'll actually link it up in the description down below so you can check it out if you want to. But we actually documented what happened and the traffic went up, sales went up, 
It was great. So adding more products will allow you to get more traffic and ultimately get more sales. So lesson number three kind of goes with lesson number two, and that is when we increased the amount of products that we were launching, we also increased the cart value for our customers. So what I mean by this is we have more products for someone to buy that is related to that niche. So this is also where focusing on one niche can really, really take your business to the next level. Because think about it. If someone comes into my shop and I'm all about RVing, all about camping, well, I have more things that they can buy. So while they're in there, they may throw a few things in their cart to buy on their way out. And that's exactly what we've done. By adding more products that are related to the other products, other products that our customers could potentially buy increases the cart value, which again, then increases revenue. And that's what we want to do. And we've had countless customers who come through and buy more than just one item. And every time that happens, every time that cha-ching happens, I go, yes, yes. So do you see how this is all kind of building on itself? One niche multiple products that are related to that niche also increases the amount of items someone can buy. And like I said in number two, you're increasing your traffic because we have more real estate that's related to our niche that's coming back to our shop. All right, lesson number four is running short sales. Here's what I mean. A lot of times, and we've done this ourselves, where you'll just turn a sale on, maybe 20% off, and you'll just leave it running. Let it run for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, whatever, right? Like, oh, we'll just discount it, we'll put it in the shop, and we'll just run a discount, and we'll just let it run. No, what we wanna do, and this is what we tested, and it works really well, is where we run a short sale cycle. So here's why the seven day sales cycle works real well. Number one, people will get notified when you have a sale that have favorited your shop. That's number one. Number two, people that come into your shop will see it in that seven day period. And the third thing is then you're going to also see that it's counting down when the sale will end. So again, it will notify people sales ending. It'll also show people that are in your shop. Oh, there's a sale ending. I should jump in on this. So running shorter sales cycles are definitely something we're going to continue to do in 2023. And a little side benefit here is when you start getting more sales on certain items, little secret for you. Etsy will actually start to rank you more for those items. Why? Because they want you to make sales. And if you show them that an item is selling, they're going to push it up in the rankings so more people see it. So that's a little SEO hack for you. Get sales and your listings will get ranked better. All right, number five, and this is one that is really important. And this is something we weren't doing. And we started adding this around five months ago and it has dramatically increased our sales. And what I'm talking about is personalization. So for a couple of different reasons, this really increased our sales. Now, I don't mean it's a huge customized product. I'm talking about putting someone's name in the item. So all you need to do is just create a template and then you're just going to put their name in it. And then from there, you're gonna upload it to your print on demand service. In this case, we're using Printify and we're using T-Launch. So all we do is just go into Canva, we pull up our template, we change out the name, we customize it, and then we re-upload it and then they print it. That's it. So we added that and when we did, immediately we saw an increase in sales. And now because we're able to put that personalization or personalized item in the title, we're also gonna start showing up for search results, which again, will bring us more traffic. So adding personalization made a huge difference for us, and we're definitely gonna be doing more of that in 2023. All right, and the last little lesson here I wanna give you, this is, I'm calling this my bonus lesson, because this is something I didn't realize until about two months ago. But you're gonna see how everything really takes shape when we're able to focus on one niche and build a brand inside of that niche. And what I'm talking about here is, when someone favorites your shop, which they will if they like your shop, if it's, oh, this is a shop that's related to RVing, so I wanna favorite it so I can see everything that they do in the future. Well, here's the deal. When someone favorites your shop, you're going to be able to show up in their notifications and they will most likely get emails from Etsy because what they've done is they've raised their hand to say, hey, I like this shop. I wanna get notified by this shop. 
So when we run a sale, guess what? They get notified. When we add new products, guess what? They get notified. When we run out of inventory, they're going to know about it. But when we get inventory back, they're going to know about that too. When we're running all kinds of things on our shop, they're going to know about it. So having the ability to be able to add something to our shop or have something happen in our shop and then have those people get notified is huge. And that's why we really wanna take time to build out our brand inside of Etsy and really build out our shop so people are more inclined to favorite it. So getting those favorites are actually more valuable than I thought and when I get them now, I go, yes, yes. So there you go, guys, after $64,000, and really a lot of that was done in the last five months, over 1,900 customers and 50 some thousand views on our Etsy shop, those are the lessons that we learned and those are the things that we're gonna continue to focus on. Hopefully you found this valuable. If you did, do me a favor, smash the like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you did enjoy this video, I'm gonna put another video right here where I go over four one minute hacks to increase sales that we've used and that we're gonna continue to use and I go in depth on how to use them. They only take you one minute each, check it out. And once again, guys, I really enjoyed making this video for you. Hopefully you got a ton of value from it and I'll see you in the next video.